Good evening. This is kind of an impromptu, I guess, review. I uh, had this Higer light on my 20 gallon long planting experiment. This is a no filter experiment. It does have an air stone bubbling and all it has are two golden wonder killies. A male and a female who have produced exactly one baby somewhere in there unless they've eaten it in which case uh, there you go uh, but it's hasn't had any real issues other than some I don't know if you can see it but some hair algae grows in there and I have to remove that from time to time uh, it hasn't been super successful as a planted aquarium the uh, plants are doing okay I have been dosing it with uh, Nylock G Thrive I don't know I've been using uh, two squirts this is a low tech tank so I've been using two squirts once a week after the water change and uh, occasionally I would give it an extra squirt in the middle of the week if I remembered Anyway, so yeah, this, this bad boy burnt out right there with that, and then uh, the light wouldn't turn on anymore. One little thing, and that whole LED panel wouldn't turn on anymore. Must have been an important thing. Anyway, long story short, I ordered an uh, aquarium co-op easy plant LED 30-inch to replace the 30-inch Hyger. And I figured I'd show you kind of a not really a side-by-side -side comparison. I could do like, here's the, this is a different tank, so it's gonna look different, but here's the uh, Easy Green, Aquarium Co-op Easy Green. And then this is the, another Higer 30 inch. And then this is just a cheap shop light, uh, regular old 30 inch shop light. It is coming down through a bunch of floating plants, which, does affect the color, but it's really yellow to start off with. And then this is a uh, fluval, but it's that's a 36 inch, so on a 40 gallon tank, so that's gonna be a little bit brighter. So that didn't really tell you a lot because each aquarium has different substrates, different plants and things like that. So I figured I'd show you on the same one, the difference. And what we're going to do is we're going to swap them out. So you can see them both up at the front. So I turn that one off and then we're going to turn this one on and that's the higher so it definitely it definitely isn't as bright definitely not as bright uh it does have a bit of a i don't know a brighter bluish light to it i don't know if the camera's really picking it up I'll just turn on the other one back there and turn this one off and you can see that that's we're back on the easy plant LED and uh, it's definitely a lot it's definitely a lot of uh, yellower um, it's brighter too I mean right right now it's kind of half blocked by the bar on the glass but there we go if we get it off the bar you see how bright it is I'm talking about the uh, that bar right there in between the panels of glass. So, yeah, there you go. Oh, and in addition, um, as soon as the Nylock G runs out, I mean, I'll, I'll continue this with the Nylock G to kind of get some continuity between the how well the plants are growing with one LED over the other. But then I also plan on, uh, I've never tried the Aquarium Co-op Easy Green. We're going to give that a whirl see if we can't get a get a little bit better growth once this bottle of Nylock G is done. I have another bottle of Nylock G but eh, this hasn't really done a whole lot or at least that I can tell I haven't really noticed I don't know maybe, again I guess the experiment will tell. Uh, another fun thing that I'm doing is uh, this aquarium right here this is a 29 and you'll see that I'm doing a version I guess of the uh, uh, dirted aquarium with the uh, sand cap it's about it's about two and a half inches it looks 
the, the appearance on the glass is a little bit deceiving. It looks like it's uh, various heights, but it's about two and a half inches of uh, pond muck. The, uh, I actually waded out into my pond, the irrigation pond, and uh, are you flashing? What are you doing there, buddy? What are you doing? Anyway, I waded out there into the pond, and uh, I actually, all of that dark brown stuff is pond muck. And then it's topped off with uh, two and a half inches of pool filter sand. So it's a pretty deep substrate, but we're giving it a whirl. And all I've got in it right now is uh, some Valsneria, and over in the far corner I've got a little bit of uh, Dwarf Sag. Cool little residence in there now. This has been set up and running for, I don't know, a month? Maybe a little bit longer. And I've been adding fish to it slowly. Anyway, uh, so that that's just kind of to, to see how it works for me. I'm not doubting that uh, dirted tanks work. I just don't know how it'll work for me, if that makes sense. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.